So welcome to Mallow. We're 15 minutes west of Stanthorpe and this is our cottage, our tourist cottage. Uh, we're only a minute or so from our old wool shed um, on our farm and our farm has uh, organic lamb and started off as shearers quarters and we've been slowly uh, doing it up. It's quite historic. It goes back to the Cobb Co days. There was a Cobb Co stop just across the road here and our wool shed has lots of um, historic memorabilia from those days. All beautiful timber floors and a lot of them, uh, the floors are original. So it's, it's quite old, but it's that lovely old, um, we think, iron bark that they would have used. And nice cosy fireplace. Uh, our son is a furniture maker in Brisbane and he's done a lot of the furniture for our cottage. This um, coffee table is one of them and the little stools. And he designed and made the lamp and the hallway um, uh, bench there. So we got in early before he got really busy with his furniture business. So we have three bedrooms. There's a queen bedroom in here. And we've tried to use furniture and uh, furnishings that aren't necessarily what you'd buy commercially. We've bought a lot of old secondhand pieces and done them up, or a lot of it's old, old family furniture as well. So these old bridge chairs, um, no one in the family wanted, but they were perfect for a, a hallway. This is a twin room and we get a lot of uh, family groups come and stay, so generations, it might be grandparents, parents and children. Uh, it's a perfect space for a gathering of the generations. And this is the main queen bedroom and this has an ensuite. And the ensuite um, also joins the twin room, so it's a two-way bathroom, I think they call it. And we've included some memorabilia on the wall with the history of wool growing because we were wool growers and so it goes all the way back to Andrew's grandfather and um, when they used to take wool bales on a horse and buggy to town so things have changed but we've kept some evidence of the old wool growing days. room we actually get up. And so this is the bath with the view. So guests can sit back in the bath and have a look out over the paddock. Guests love a day bed and um, so there's a lovely day bed here in the summer room. And then we just had a really simple kitchen, but it's fully equipped with um, all the cooking, stove, and um, lots of provisions. This old wood stove was here in the cottage, and we decided to keep it. Here we are in the Mallow wool shed. So this wool shed's been here since the mid to late 1800s 
and started out as a, a Cobb Co stop and then morphed into a boarding house. Um, and you can see, um, if you look up the ceiling, where the different rooms would have been uh, when it was a boarding house. And then it became a, it was a pub uh, at one stage called Malone's Pub and then a wool shed, which it's remained. And we still use it as a wool shed. So this is a, uh, an old wool press that they would have used to press the bales of wool. It doesn't get used anymore, but we've kept it as uh, a, um, something historic from the past. This is a modern wool press. <laughs> the difference. <laughs>